Oh yeah, y'all ready to go camping? Let's do it. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 19 mods for you for all platforms. We have 8 new and 7 updates. For console only, we have one new. It's really cool. And PC and Mac, we have 2 new and 1 update. Let's check them out. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the TLX Campet Pack from A2 Studio. This bad boy right here is the newest roleplay oriented attachment for the TLX 2020. We have said for years, a camper will never come to consoles. Well, today we have been proven wrong. This can be customized to do whatever you want to do. And let's check that out. You can see it holds 500 liters. DJ, what does that hold? Holds fuel. That is right. These will hold fuel, 500 liters fuel. So you can use these to refuel your truck that you're <laughs> driving or whatever else, because we actually have on the back the fuel cans, which is really, really neat. Main color, we've got a new color, the Camp It, and we have some other new colors as well. So if we come through here, you can see we have fiber. Now it's just not just whatever, it's the first new color in each one of these. You can see it's a little bit different. You may be able to see the texture there. Let's change this to just the regular Tiffany blue. You can see this is shiny. It is much, much, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, normal, I guess. This, well, it's got a little bit of a uh, carbon fiber, or say carbon fiber, fiberglass look to it. So all of your colors now have that look. So it's going to look like a fiberglass shell, which campers usually are, and they are going to be in there. We even have a nitro blue fiber. Shout out, my dude. We also have design color right here. We change this up. This is going to be the top. So additional, we have skylight, sleeper, back and forth between those with extendable awnings as well which will pop right out so we've got this and uh you can change that up however you like so if we go with the extendable awning changes up to orange you can see the top changes to orange let's go and get ourselves one of those because i want to show you how that works then secondly with the camping pack we have the a2 studios outdoors camping trailer yes this will also hold 500 liters of fuel i know we said in the pre-release versions they held fuel water and uh sorry digest eight because you gotta have somewhere to go but unfortunately i don't think giants saw it the same way so we've got it like this this is exactly the same setup with a few different features so we can see of course our main color is exactly the way it was but we have a rim color that's been added to this as well so in here you could choose whatever you would like for your rim color to be we're just going to stick with stainless steel then design color this is going to be the exact same thing so we have these top right there uh let's see additional skylight or additional sleeper those are going to be exactly the same through there so you've got that if you wish let's just change this up to a uh, skylight we'll do that then we have wheel brands we have stock sport off-road off-road winter all-terrain and stock again exact same setup that you see with the tlx and then wheel setups so you could do uh, you know street duels uh, knock-ins however you want to do with those you can make these match the ones that you're using on your truck you've even got uh was it yeah the duels right here duels with chains come on that's awesome and then drawers so this is going to be all of the drawers along the side so you have a diamond plate your main color if you want it to look nice and clean you can also do your design color <laughs> if you choose to, and even a black metal, which is very, very awesome. You know what? I think we're gonna go with the black metal on this one. We're gonna get this out here as well. Let's jump in. So now you can see we have our TLX and we have the Campit Pack. So these will do a few different things. One of the things that this will do is actually, you can enter it. You can see I'm in there. I can even unfold it. I have full control of this. We can even extend the awning just being in here. You don't even need to be in the truck, which is super cool. By the way, when you're in the back like this, you could turn the truck on if you want to. You just can't uh, drive it anywhere. We turn our help windows on here. Uh, we've got a camera selection. So you have a first person if you wish. And we have a third person too. With this one, you can fold it or you can close it if you wish. So folding is going to open and close the door. Folding will or open cover, that's gonna do that part right there, but that is it. And then <laughs> you can change over. So you can actually tab to these as well, which is kind of neat. This one too, you can open that up. You can open up the top, depending. If you have an awning on this one, it's gonna open up the top flap and the awning all at the same time. Otherwise, that's, uh, that's kind of it for the most part. You do have a trailer hitch on here if you wish, so you can pull a bunch of these together. 
It's just a cool setup, man. You can now go camping in Farming Simulator 19 thanks to A2 Studio. Next up from Talon and Agromods, we have a new tractor. This is the Lizard 1128. This is going to be found in large tractors. Starting off, we have 280 horsepower, 1162 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour. Made color, you have green, you have red, orange, original color 2, black, and original color 3, aka blue. Rim colors, all of them. Interesting that we don't have all of the main colors for those. Uh, interesting through there. And then if we want to change up the body of this, we can. One thing that's really nice is you can change up the mainframe to a black and then change up this color however you would like. I think that looks really good right there. Let's leave that. Protection grid, we have no or yes, basically. Protection grid has been added to the sides. Design, we have original. We have low. So basically that's exhaust. And then we'll set up. So we have standard, wide tire. Rear twin. That's not rear twins. That's twins all the way around. So we have standards, wides, and twins. All of those are going to be Trelleborg. Next up, we have a new plow from Tech Modding. This is going to be a 160 horsepower, three meter, eight mile per hour plow. Main color through here. All of them. I appreciate that very, very much. So yeah, you got all the colors of the rainbow. I dig it, man. I dig it. Will Brands. We have Lizard, and we have Trelleborg. So we have uh, duels in there. <laughs> that this is cool. Yo, this is neat. I like this. I like this a whole lot. Next, we have the Grimmy Rooster 604. This is a modified version of the in-game rooster. So you can see, basically, kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Uh, the only thing is, it holds more. This will hold over 6,000 liters versus the, well, it says 6,000 there. This says 85. Hmm, let's see what we could do there. So main color, all of them, straight up, all of the colors. Would be nice to have rim colors here as well, but you know what? I'll, if it's only main color, I'll take the main color. Capacity, we have original and FS. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be an advanced capacity from 6,000 up to 8,500. And it will set up. We have normal wheels. <laughs> Big wheels. Yeah. What if I do this? We can make it bounce. Let's go. We got hydraulics. Yeah. Next new mod for all platforms is the Transport Rack Pack for Big Bags. We have two of these. We have a dual and a single in it. As you probably know, sometimes it is very difficult to move big bags. They like to swing all over the place. Well, this, this is gonna make it a little bit easier. Hook this up to your three point, whether it be front or rear. You can change these up whatever color you would wish. You can see you literally have all of the colors and you hook it up and it's gonna keep the big bag from swinging side to side. I think this is a brilliant idea. Great job on this one. Next up, we've got the Barn 26 by 10. This is gonna cost you $40,000. Daily upkeep is going to be $10 per day. It is seasons ready, which is nice. It is this really nice brick as well. They've done a really good job. This is from Skycliff. Ayo, and 10 megabytes of size. Oh, yeah. So we got a couple doors that we can open up. And you've got things that move on that one. And we'll have a couple things that move on the other side of this one as well. Unfortunately, I didn't see it because we're going through the middle. These are going to be split up down the middle. Speaking of middle, so you've got room to come in here. You will need a shorter vehicle if you're going to be pulling vehicles through here. But you've got room on the sides to put stuff and things all the way around. This is a very nicely done uh, shed right here. There's a lot of detail to this. There's a lot of intricate little things. And the greatest thing, it doesn't say Polish. That's a, that's a joke, I'm kidding, but, you know, a little serious. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Water Tower, or as it's listed in the uh, Mod Hub, Water Station. Can we stop doing that, please? It's so irritating to see one name and then you get a two name. We had something that had three names last week. Let's let's fix that, shall we? This is going to cost you uh, $1,350, set up to $1,700, but uh, it didn't cost that much for me. And daily upkeep is going to be $10 per day. Refill your water tanks from this bad boy right now. And lastly, today we have one of my new favorite mods in game. This is the Garden Hose by Grasslands Mods. This is a high pressure washer. Say, is it too expensive for you? Well, you clean your vehicles with a garden hose. Yeah! <laughs> How far can we go? Just about as far as you would expect. I like this because it's not loud. It's just. It's just a water hose, man. I dig it. This is so cool. Yes. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms, we start with the Joints Do 6 series and a little bit of a what? Uh, Giant said that they couldn't, where they had to wait till 14 days after the original release to update this. We talked about that, I believe, on Saturday in Farm Sim News. Well, guess what? The update's here, so go download it. <laughs> I don't know if it was an oopsie or they're like, yeah, whatever, just release it. 
Regardless, we have the update and it's going to be version 1.0.1. Front light color for lights has been changed to yellow. Rear work light has been added, as you can see back here. They've also got new details all around the model and some small mistakes or small bugs have been fixed. Next up today, we have the Reboke 16,000 Plus. This is a model that we talked about a few weeks ago in Farms of News and the update is here. Changelog 1.2 improved the canvas model and texture written on the rear axles. Now I'm not sure exactly, or hydraulics, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but we do have a hitch in the back now, which is great. And they fixed an error of not loading pallets from the floor. Next update for all platforms today is the Valtra A series is going to be version 1.001. Added the new Valtra A5. I'm not sure exactly what that means. And they've also fixed the communal and weight tire configuration. And an update to the Cavernland BE6. This is going to be version 1.001 corrected the icon and better wear and stains on the model. And we have an update to the tempered farm pack, which adds a new building in version 1.003. This is the feed barn. This is for storing pig feed, straw, grass, hay, silage, uh, chaff, as well as TMR. Really cool little building right here. As you can see, we can open up a few things here. This does have a garage with it as well. So this is our garage. This is by Richie F. So if you've got any of their maps, this is going to look great with that as well. Here's your silo. So you can put all your stuff there. I always love their buildings because no space is wasted. Never mind. <laughs> A little bit wasted there. Nah, it's all right. I like that. I like that look. I think that looks cool. That's a neat little building, isn't it? Yeah, I dig this. I dig this a whole lot. Granted, I'm a big fan of Richie F, so I'm a little bit partial. Your next to last update for all platforms today is the Farmhouse version 1.2 added night lights yeah and your last mod update today is for the small bunker silo set this is going to be version 1.3 added building shader and added the single bunker silo u-tight price of 18 dollars per or yeah eighteen thousand dollars and 20 bucks per day as was mentioned we do have one new mod for console players day and it is the avant series from its and guess what PC already has this, so we could show it off to you guys. This is going to be the Avant 420. We also have the 750. These are just cool mods, man. You've also got a pallet fork, a bell spear, manure fork, high dump bucket, and you know, we actually have two different high dump buckets, one for 600, one for 1200 liters. If we take a look at the smallest version, the Avant 420, this is gonna have two, 22 horsepower, 25 liters of fuel, six mile per hour speed, and we have a rim color that we could change up, do whatever we want, attachers. We have rear weight, we have another rear weight, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> it just keeps going down, doesn't it? And then we'll set up, so right here we have tractor tread, we have green tread, Greenland tread right there. Basically it's a Trelleborg or Michelin, I think is the dealio there. Then we have a larger version right here, which has 50 horsepower, 49 horsepower, 60 liters fuel. This one goes much faster, 15 miles per hour. Rim color, you can still change that, whatever you'd like. Tatchers, rear's all gonna be the same. Uh, and we also have tractor tire or Greenland tire. Lastly today, let's talk about some PC only mods. First new one is gonna be milk and water tanks. We get two of these. We have the milk tank, store milk and a water tank to store Water this is going to cost $38,500 and will store 750,000 liters. We also have storage for manure. This is stored at the warehouse. Price is $28,000. Daily maintenance, five bucks per day. Capacity, one million liters. Uh, manure in, manure out. Um, interestingly and oddly, we have something exactly like this for all platforms. Yet this is PC only and requires a global company. I just don't understand. And we have one mod update for PC and Mac players today. It's going to be the license plate mod. It's going to be version 1.1.0.1 fixed an issue with the file paths on Mac OS and support for the Rotten DLC. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ahead fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. This week's going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to have to take off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm getting my wisdom tea taken out Friday morning. So uh, this week's going to be interesting. We're not going to have as many videos. We'll still do two videos Monday through Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, very likely only one video each day. It'll just be pre-recorded stuff. So just let you guys know ahead of time. Therefore, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.